YouTube, Kurt Curtis. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the break results for all the breaks that I entered for 2024 Panini Prism WWE. These are all the breaks entered pretty much within the first three or four days of the product being released, or at least um, when the product got into the breaker's hands onto whatnot. Um, if you want to see all the cards, feel free to fast forward because it only take me like 30 seconds to show you guys all the cards, but I'm going to talk about some stuff uh, beforehand. If you're not interested in that, interested in the cards, fast forward. But yeah, so um, the only wrestler I picked up in any of these breaks, I ended up entering 14 breaks. I'm going to go over what I paid and all that as well. 14 case breaks. Uh, the only wrestler I purchased was Blair Davenport. Um, some of you m might be wondering, why do you PC Blair Davenport? For WWE, um, she's my uh, go-to uh, person that I collect. Um, AEW is obviously different. But um, pretty much in last year's Prism, 2023 Prism, I entered a case break right when the product came out because I was super pumped for it. And I bought some bigger names. Like um, I spent like probably $150, $200 on a single case break. Um, I bought some big names, some like mid names, some lower tier guys, and it all just ended up being around 200 bucks. And I just completely skunked. Like I might've gotten a couple silvers or something throughout all the names that I got. And I'm like, dude, I cannot do this. This is just like, it's just such a waste. So I'm like, I need to get a cheap wrestler. I was really pumped for 2023 Prism to be coming out. And whatever room I was in, they ran Blair Davenport for five bucks. I picked her up because I wanted to participate in the break. I wanted to have some skin in the game while watching the break. And then the next break happened, the same thing again, five bucks, same thing again. Back in 2023, um, or at least when Prism was out, Blair was disappeared for a year. She was out of sight, out of mind. No one knew if she was coming back. No one was going after her. That's why her spot was only five bucks. Also in 2023, she just had a, a base card, no auto, at least in Prism. This year she does have an auto card, but now she's come back to NXT and very quickly got moved up to the main roster and now is on SmackDown and in a feud or teamed up with Alba and them uh, feuding with like Jade Cargill and stuff. So now she's like on the main show in front of everybody's eyes. And you can definitely tell because the prices for her for breaks have gone up and the demand has kind of gone up. A lot of the breaks that I've got, I gotten her for, for the prices, I'll tell you guys in a minute, um, were because I, I pre-bought the spots like two weeks in advance. Some breakers have the spots up before the, or maybe a week in advance. Once the checklist drops, some breakers put the spots up and that's when I got it. But a lot of the new breaks, when, when they just, got posted, she was probably one of the first 10 names to go. But um, yeah, entered up, um, entered in 14 case breaks. Um, I entered one, one individual first off the line, which I paid $15 for her spot. Another individual first off the line, single case, I paid $17.85. I entered a five caser, which I paid 51 for. Then I entered three individual single case breaks at $8 a piece. So that was a pretty good deal. And then um, I entered a two case break, which I paid 30 for. And then another two case break, which I paid 25 for. So for the 14 cases, two of them being first off the line, I paid $162.85. That does not include taxes and shipping. Um, going forward, the individual case breaks, even if you can get a good price, the fact that you got to pay shipping each time, um, going forward, I'll probably only be entering like bigger case breaks at least, at least two, but preferably like four or five casers because you just get, you pay the one shipping, you get more bang for your buck. And most of the cards that I got that, that I'll show you guys um, came from either the first off the line boxes or the five caser. All the individual case breaks and the couple two case breaks, I basically pulled maybe like one parallel and, and that's about it. But, um, yeah, so first up, go over the cards. Sorry about all that talking. You know, whole stack of base cards. These are all just base cards. Some some breakers uh, don't ship base. Some do. Some give you random base. Um, it doesn't matter to me. I will take base cards, but I'm not going to trip about it. I, I just can't believe how many people, when I'm in these rooms for breaks, are like tripping about base cards. Like, oh, do you ship base? Do you not ship base? Do you, do you ship base? It's like no one's worried about the actual cards. They're just all worried about the base cards. I'll take the base. Don't get me wrong. But it's not a make or break if, I, if I'm going to enter someone's break. 
uh, whether or not they ship base. So it, I understand it takes a long time for them to sort, so it is what it is. But these are the base cards that I did manage to get shipped to me from the breakers that did ship base. Um, yeah, let's go over it. First up, Silver Prisms. One, two, three, four, five. I got five silvers. And I do want to say this is pretty, this is a pretty sweet image for the base card. This is probably your best, um, at least one of the best images for um, Blair for a base card. In, in 22 Prism and 23 Prism, the cards were horizontal. So this is the first vertical card in Prism. So that was a nice change up. Only got one Ruby Wave out of 14 cases, just one Ruby Wave. So the Ruby Waves are not numbered, but um, obviously they're a lot more rare than the Silvers. Also, you got to keep in mind, guys, um, there's over, if you can include all the wrestlers that just have like autos and stuff, the 200 card checklist, there's a bunch of wrestlers that just have autos, like legends and stuff, like two, over 200 wrestlers. If you only got one wrestler, like one case is not a lot of cards. Like a case sounds like a ton of cards, but if you only got one wrestler, like you could easily not hit very easily. I think people just assume like, oh, it's a whole case. I'm going to hit a bunch of stuff. Like, mm. Not if you just have one wrestler, you might not. Now, if you have a, a whole handful, it's different. Obviously, the more you have, better chance you got. Um, more fishing poles you got in the lake type thing. But, um, yeah, it can be difficult with just one. That's why I, I was, after going through this, kind of prefer, like, the bigger case breaks. Um, next up, we got one, two of these pulsars numbered out of four ninety nine. I know some people uh, are not liking this. Uh, you know, saying, like, why would you even number a card out of four ninety nine? That's so much. I think it's cool. I think these look nice, and um, it's better than, like, a non-numbered hyper, you know? These do look cool as well, and they're going to have um, Pulsar numbered cards, like a 399, 75, 25, and Blasters, which should be coming out soon. I think I think they're already out, to be honest. But two out of 499. Got one red numbered out of 299. 14 cases, just one red numbered out of 299. One, two purples. Numbered out of 149, so that's not too bad. So I did not get a blue out of 199, and I did not get an orange out of 99, but I did end up getting a teal out of 49. And these teals actually look really cool. I'm liking these teal parallels. It just pops. It's a really nice card. And then no mojos, no golds, nothing like that. But I did manage to hit like a stack of autos, like literally a stack of autos. And um, all these autos either came from the five case break or the two first off the line um, case breaks. None of these came from like a one or two case break. Not one, not two, but three base autos, which is really good. Yeah, I think I got three autos from the five caser. Also got a red, number to 99. And last up, got a blue, numbered out of 49. So five autos, that's not bad at all. Um, and, and that's everything, guys. Those were the hits. You know, five silvers, ruby wave, two pulsars out of 499, a red out of 299, two purples out of 149, a teal out of 49, three base autos, an auto out of 99 red, auto out of 49 blue. So that's not too bad, can't complain. Now, was this worth it? Um, I want to say yes. I think it was. Yes and no. Um, so if I would have bought a hobby box to open here on the channel, I know my, my local hobby shop, they would have charged probably 300 bucks. They don't charge tax or anything. If it's 300, it's 300 flat. Um, if you bought it online, I think you can get it cheaper, but you're going to pay tax, maybe shipping. It's probably going to be around 300, at least from when the set first came out might be different now. I haven't looked into it. So we'll say uh, with tax and shipping um, on the brakes, you know, I spent 162.85. We'll say with tax and shipping, it was 200. So it's basically like two thirds of a hobby box. There's 12 packs in a hobby box. So would, a, would I rather have eight packs of Prism or like all this from like a wrestler I actually collect? Um, obviously, you don't know what you're going to hit. I could have got 
I could have not hit all those autos. You know, you never know what can happen. But in this case, I definitely would have preferred all these cards rather than not even a full box of Prism. Um, I don't know. That's just me. But that's just the situation that only works for a lower end wrestler. Um, obviously, there's lower end than her now. Like there's the five dollar, you know, what she was like a year ago, like the five dollar spots. Um, typically now, I'm seeing her spots sell like twenty bucks, give or take five bucks, fifteen if you're lucky. Some people even charge in twenty five. So definitely gone up a ton within the year, but. If you're going to do this experiment, it's kind of experiment. I just only got the one wrestler. Um, if you're going to do this experiment and like, say you collect the rock, like this is not going to work. You know, you might be better off getting a hobby box or something because, you know, for the same price, I entered 14 case breaks for Blair. Maybe you, maybe you get like two case breaks for the rock, you know? So, I mean, if I just went off two case breaks, you could get like a some base cards, maybe a couple silvers and like a like a purple out of one forty nine, and then you spent you know hundred something, on like two hundred bucks on a ro on some rock spots, and that's all you got. So this only works like this, where you have the potential to get all these uh, huge stack of cards if it's a cheaper wrestler. It was a lot of fun. I meant to, um, I was gonna kind of do like an even number, like try to hit the same price as a hobby box or do like 15 or 20 cases to make it nice and even but after 14 i was just like i'm done they it, i had fun for the you know three four days when the set first came out and all that and i was just like i'm done um also it was hard to get spots for um for de for a deal um after a few days there's lots of competition but yeah appreciate you guys watching let me know if you guys were entering any breaks um if you prefer opening packs to breaks, both are gambling. You're, you're probably better off buying singles than doing either of them, to be completely honest. But it's not as fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys got, what you guys have been doing since Prism came out. And um, yeah, I appreciate you watching. As always, until next time. Ha, ha, ha.